Hello, hello, my Taurus Gemini. Welcome into your reading. So this is going to be for July, but it doesn't have to be. Just a general message for whatever you want to, whatever you want to hear. Maybe this is not going to be what you want to hear, but whatever you need to hear. So we're going to take a look into your career, your love life in a very brief, quick way. But let's see where we go. All right. Damn, someone is being guided. We have career, spirit guide, and freedom. There's something about you're free to do whatever you wish when it comes to your career. Um, there's something about like breaking uh, breaking some chains. I don't know, maybe you're in a career that you don't really love. And it's like you have what it takes to break away from those uh, chains. To, you know, to break away from that career that you don't really love. And you have what it takes to... Uh, especially with these baby steps action follow your intuition before it makes sense it's like maybe you're feeling called to start a business apply somewhere else uh, quit a job something like that it's because you're seeing your potential your soul your higher self is seeing your potential your untapped potential and it's like you are worthy of more you can have more you can have your dream life but it is up to you to take that action it is up to you to take that step and you're feeling um i feel like you're being so so much guided to do what is truly aligned with you i just saw repeating 28s so that could be a significant synchronicity for you whenever you're watching uh whenever you see like 28 on a license plate maybe the 28th Ooh, maybe the 28th of july depending on when you're watching this maybe the 28th of a month could be significant for you i feel like that is your your sign that where whenever you see that that number that is your sign that it's time to break free and it's time for you to go and follow your passion you know because even here we have a dragonfly which i uh, associate with passion and creativity and we have a key it's like your passion your heart where you truly thrive and and the thing that really lights you up and makes you the happiest that is going to be your key to have financial freedom to have the life that you really want okay but of course this cannot happen if you don't take the step so yeah, we even have here called soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. Um, star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission, activation. There we go. It's like you're really being activated to go further. Okay, you're really being activated to start the thing, to do the thing. Okay, maybe for some of you, you don't really have to, if you don't feel comfortable with that, you don't have to quit your job. You know, that is always going to be um, your decision, your call. But you do need to do something to get yourself into the right place fill out applications start that book uh start that podcast start that whatever start that business uh it's like it's really time for you to get up and get going especially with this karmic relationships orion pl uh, polarity soul growth and conflict i feel like especially this soul growth it's like you've been i feel like your energy has been stagnant especially with this weight your energy may have been stagnant and I feel like you have been kind of building up this confidence and, and building yourself up. Maybe where you are right now, it actually taught you some skills that you actually need to um, to use. Ooh, I just saw uh, three through three. So repeating threes could also be significant. But I feel like this career could have actually taught you something that now you need to use. Maybe in a different way. It doesn't have to be in the same way. But maybe in a different way, it can help you to go towards the life that you want. And maybe you think that this is not enough. Let's say you've gained experience. For example, you want to do something with your career where you're actually like um, a leader or something. Or you don't you don't even want to be a leader necessarily, but you want to go in a certain field. and the Or you want to go work in a certain company. The people that they, the person that they are looking for is someone that has leadership skills. And you, maybe you've been in a job where you've been, you know, you've been for some, there for some time and you've gained some experience and then you've leveled up and you have some sort of leadership skill it may not be like oh i'm ready to be a ceo that is not what they're looking for the leadership skills that you've gained the experience even just the experience that you've gained in that career in that field in that other company it's enough for you to go and get that job okay so i feel like there is this strong thing of like you already are you already have enough and you already are enough okay yeah, so we have the devil and we I did see the tower. So uh, a little tower moment could be coming through, but I feel like it's a gray one because this is what's coming out of the tower. Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. You see how here it's very dark and, and 
gloomy. And here it's very bright and sunshine and power and confidence, right? Um, I feel like that is what's changing. Your mindset is changing. Here, you are constricted by fears and limitations. And you're letting you're letting fears take the best of you, I, I would say. And over here with the Queen of Wands and Nine of Pentacles, you're believing in yourself. You're believing in your potential. And you're really working with your dreams to make them happen you're working with also with your life to make your dreams happen but i feel like you have a lot of opportunities to make this thing to make to shift your life essentially okay so with this four of swords i feel like it is important that you understand okay where do i want to go she's dreaming what is your dream life allow yourself to visualize that you know maybe you need to do a little bit of um meditation practice but i feel like you already have the answer you already have the cup your intuition is already guiding you there. It's about listening to your intuition and not to your fears, not to your mind, not to the past. It's about going forward despite fear. That is that is a sentence that I've been using so much <laughs> in these readings. Go forward despite fear. Take action despite fear. Because usually, if you're fearful of something, that is exactly what you should do. Because that is where you're going to grow the most. Of course, sometimes it's not something that it's healthy at all but in this case this is about a dream you're just scared of a dream you know just but you know it's not something that it's unhealthy that is going to hurt you it's something that is going to help you that is going to challenge you yes but it's going to help you grow and become the person that you want to become and you cannot do that if you stay in your comfort zone you cannot do that i feel like right now you're too much in your tourist energy and it's time to step up a little bit the the gemini okay it's time to see possibilities. It's time to maybe even brainstorm ideas of, oh, this could happen. And like, get excited. Write, journal a little bit about all the things you could create in your life. Like, what does your dream life look like? I really feel like you need to journal about that. Um, and then you look back into it. You, you do that very like, just don't stop writing. Don't think about, oh, maybe I kind of want to do this. No, just start writing about your dream life. Uh, describe a day in your life a day in your dream life describe it just as you go so you wake up what time do you wake up describe it to the biggest detail what time do you wake up then you do this then you do that and then for breakfast you eat this and that and the other and you look into the 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 window of your apartment and it's you can see that eiffel tower because you're living in paris you know who 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 knows <laughs> it's like what does your dream life look like a day in your dream life and then go back look into that journal log and see okay how could i have this already maybe you don't necessarily have to move to paris straight away but maybe you can start looking into apartments or you, maybe you can start looking into uh jobs over there is it scary to actually send the application the possibility of getting accepted and then you actually having to move to paris I'm sure it is. I'm sure it freaking is. But is it going to get you closer to your dream life and make you even happier despite that fear? I would bet my ass that it would. So I really feel like there is a need for you to step up and a need for you to um, start having that life, you know? And maybe it's even just about, okay, you wake up at this time, start waking up at that time. This is your morning routine. Start having that morning routine, even if you can't wake up at that time. Maybe you want to wake up at like 10 a.m., which would be great. Um, and right now you actually have to wake up at like 5 a.m. to get to work. Okay, but make time for that morning routine that you want to have when you wake up at 10 a.m. Okay, I feel like that is really going to be, it's like star shifting, star making little shifts for you to do that. So what do we have here around career? I'm actually curious to see what comes up in in regards to love because i'm not really getting anything but we have big heart love takes time yeah your dreams take time okay family connection and moving in if you need to save up for you to move into somewhere else again for you to maybe go to paris um or whatever i'm just i'm just giving paris as an example but um if you need to save up for you to do something else uh don't be afraid to move back in with your parents or to like share a flat or something like that but know that dreams take time to build but they are not built overnight okay you need to make that work you need to put in the effort to make that happen okay and i feel like the biggest effort that you need to put in right now it's really seeing okay what is stopping me what exactly am i afraid of 
what do I believe of myself? How am I treating myself in my dreams? What are the things that I'm saying and thinking? Oh, I can't do that. Oh, this is impossible. What if you can and what if it is possible? Okay, it's about shifting those whole beliefs. So I would say journaling could be quite significant for you. Just write all of your limitations and then look at them and reframe them into, I can do this. I am enough. Uh, I am worthy of doing this. You know, I am skilled in this. Really try to look into what you're good at. Try to find reasons for you to, do, to follow your dream life. Because right now I feel like you're finding reasons for you to not do so. And maybe that is what you were looking for in this reading. Because we did start the reading with saying what you wanted to hear. And maybe you wanted to hear that this dream was stupid and like just forget it. It's like not worth it. Maybe you even already have like um, an opportunity to go somewhere. And you were hoping that I would say, no, don't go. That is going to be awful. I'm here to say, please go. That is going to be awesome. Okay. <laughs> but let's see here when it comes to your love life. If there's anything that wants to come through. Apparently there is. Okay. So we have meditation. We have reunion closed off and spiritual blessing. Actually, we have one more because we do have this player here. But it could be a little bit with this same thing of the fear. It could be a projection. Because I feel like you are closed off from a reunion. But it's like, um, don't take things to straight away you know uh it's like uh, keep yourself open a little bit meditate if that is something that brings you a little bit more clarity because this person could actually yeah this could actually be um a blessing for you with marriage even i feel like you may see this person has a player but they're actually not okay so just a little heads up that um there could be not necessarily the person itself but the energy coming through again especially with venus going into retrograde um this weekend that could bring forward some of those energies, especially wounds, especially wounds. But um, again, this reunion energy could come forward internally first, and then um, it could have the potential for it to actually materialize into something. So just keep your mind open, I would say, okay? Because this reunion could actually have quite a good potential, okay? By the way, we have here Leo, Capricorn energies, that's it. <laughs> so sorry. That that is all we have, but hopefully it will give you a little a little extra confirmation if you needed that. But let's get here into some final cards for self-care, some practical tools, and we're also going to pull some fun things. So we have over here cook, healing, and music. I'm hearing um you may want to cook with a lot of healing food. Uh, so very like antioxidants, um, anti-inflammatory, that kind of food. I feel like it would be good for you. Uh, and maybe also having like detox, a detox in your food, uh, in your system. Because that is, uh, you know, it's all interconnected. So having a detox in your body is going to help you detox your mind as well. Um, and with this music, maybe that is a career that you want to pursue. Or just pay attention to lyrics, for example. Because they could have some important messages for you as well okay so let's see here what else do we have wow so we have a lot we we clearly need to have some fun <laughs> but we have shopping spree game night movie night i'm actually getting with this shopping spree if you want to manifest something that is something that i don't know who said that um i think it was chloe taylor but uh, especially when you're wanting to move out that is great to do when you're wanting to move out it's like buy something with the purpose of uh, using it in your new home if you want to move to Paris buy your suitcase for Paris make that investment you know take charge into those little things that dream life start making those little things maybe in your dream life you have this specific machine that makes beautiful coffee do that <laughs> you know that is your shopping spree but we also have here cook your favorite meal horseback riding cook a new dish definitely a lot of around food we also have sushi night hot chocolate and board game cafe so these are a couple of things that you can do to have fun and to kind of indulge yourself into good vibes and fun times so yeah 
But that being said, Taurus Gemini, this is what I have for you. I really hope this resonated and helped somehow. If you did, don't forget to smash like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. And if you want to support me any further, all of my links are going to be down below for proud ratings from a Patreon where we have weekly messages and for um, tips if you want to tip me through YouTube. Super thanks or um, through buy me a coffee. Whatever works for you. I would really appreciate it, but not at all necessary. Um, but yeah, thank you for being here. I love you very much. I wish you the best. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.